Welcome to College Composition, also known as Dual Enrollment English 111. I like the term College Composition a bit better, more descriptive, I think. This video covers the course's purpose and summarizes our approaches to achieving it. For a lot more information, please read the syllabus, which you can find on page one in our virtual binder. Our class's purpose is to prepare students for uh, expected college writing and writing in the workplace through understanding the writing process and the creation of effective texts. Um, but our purpose leads us to understand college writing as something different from high school writing and we'll be exploring that a lot this semester and next. But our purpose immediately lands us in a quandary. We can't begin to cover in one semester all of the specific kinds of writing you'll be required to write in college and in the workplace. Well, how do we cover it all then? Well, one way is to teach for transfer, which is a phrase that's current in college composition circles. Basically, um, we teach knowing that you'll be using the information for other courses. That means we'll need to go deeper than usual. You'll need to take away um, this course with enough, enough depth in order to apply it in new situations that we can't even uh, imagine. How do we do it? Well, we learn what we can about the uh, composing methods that colleges use. Uh, we reflect on writing and develop our individual theories of writing. That'll help us when we're asked to, um, to do writing exercises and papers in college. And we'll also use threshold concepts to challenge our unexamined assumptions about writing. Well, what's a threshold concept? Well, they're like the threshold guardians at the outset of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. You may have learned about in 10th grade, the hero leaves his home, goes from the known world into the unknown, um, has a great adventure, and comes out a different person, returns to his community differently. Well, one of the characters that the hero runs into is this threshold guardian, and that's what these threshold concepts are like. Uh, according to Christopher Vogler's book, The Writer's Journey, all heroes encounter obstacles on the road to adventure. At each gateway to a new world, there are powerful guardians at the threshold, a place to keep the unworthy from entering. They present a menacing face to the hero, but if properly understood, they can be overcome or even turned into allies. And that's what's going to happen with us. Many heroes and many writers encounter threshold guardians and understanding their nature can help determine how to handle them. We'll do the same when we encounter some threshold concepts. Here are three among many that we will encounter over the quarter, uh, over the semester rather. The first, writing is a knowledge making activity. This already may challenge uh, some views of writing as simply a means of communication. Writing is a way of knowing. Uh, in some cases, it's a, it's a way of knowing things that you would not know uh, by any other means but by writing. The second, writing expresses and shares meaning to be reconstructed by the reader. That may challenge one's view that writing is essentially between me and the paper I'm writing onto the computer screen uh, on which my words appear. And the third sample, writing is not natural. That's one big distinction between speaking and writing. We are built to speak, we have vocal cords, but we are not necessarily built to write. We can certainly write, um, just as we can type, but those things were made for what we can do with our fingers, and therefore it's a technology writing is a technology, unlike speaking. It's an old one, but it is a technology. So those are the kinds of things that we'll be examining um, along the course of the semester while we build our own individual theories of writing. Our course is learning outcomes. This is what we hope to learn in summary form anyway here. First, understand the nature of writing and your own experiences with writing differently than when you began. A lot of what we've just been talking about regarding threshold concepts and teaching for transfer involves that. Second, increase your ability 
to read rhetorical situations and make rhetorical choices consciously in your writing. Third, know what questions to ask when entering new rhetorical situations in order to adjust your approach to writing to meet that situation. It's almost as fluid as speaking in that regard. Four, be a more reflective, that is mindful, self-aware, thoughtful writer. We'll be doing a lot of reflection uh, over the course of this, this particular semester. Five, build your ability to collaborate in communities of writers and readers. That involves our blogs, that involves our small groups, peer reviews, things like that, forums. Six, become comfortable with taking risks in new writing situations. Um, what comes to mind immediately are the interviews that we'll be doing. Other risks taking will other risk taking will happen too. Increase your control, number seven, of situation appropriate conventions of writing. That includes some of the um, syntactical rules that you reviewed over the summer. Those are writing conventions, um, things that we all agree on and that are expected of us in particular situations. And eight, expand your research literacy. We'll be doing a good deal of research this semester. So many of our class sessions will approximate a writer's workshop. The general fra framework for those sessions will be as follows. So a lot of the classes will not include everything here. In fact, it'll be rare when we get all of this done. But these are the um, the elements of a writer's workshop that we'll be doing. Uh, we'll start with some inspiration uh, from you or from me, and that will lead into some chaos and creation where we will explore writing and try some new things in our journals, principally, um, in places where it's safe and others won't um, be reading over our shoulder. We will um, take some time to reflect and share a bit from what we've done uh, to the extent we're, we feel comfortable. And then we'll move to a mini lesson where we'll learn maybe a writing convention or some sort of strategy involving writing. And that'll build toward what we're doing in that particular uh, unit. And we'll practice that mini lesson. Uh, we'll take a break. No phones if it is a day uh, on which we collect phones at the beginning of class. And then we will work um, on a current individual assignment. Uh, we'll conference um, either with each other or with me. And then we will um, share a bit with what we've been doing that day and uh, get some feedback from our peers. At that point, usually it's just positive feedback. And then uh, there's some classroom feedback, like what did you learn today? So I can know how effective the lesson was and also find out in, uh, in quick order um, where you are with respect to what we're learning. What are the ways in which we'll write or what are the um, genres, I guess you would say? Um, one is the journal. This is the most basic uh, thing that we'll be using approach to our writing. It allows for a lot of experimentation and freedom. You alone assess. Uh, the teacher scans uh, it uh, and uh, checks to make sure you're journaling. And um, we will have some journal assignments that the teacher does access, uh, assess. rather. And then there's mini lesson practice, which I alluded to in the previous slide. Mini lessons build skills towards the writing, uh, toward writing the unit's culminating paper. The teacher grades the practice work or checks it for completion. Some of this uh, practice can be in your journal. Sometimes it can't be. Blogs. Uh, blogs give us an audience, and the audience um, improves our writing. Usually blog posts are experimental writings with a bit more polish than a journal entry, since the world can read it. No one comments uh, but Loudon students and teachers, though, though the world can read it. Comments may challenge the post's facts, uh, its arguments, its conclusions. Um, it's encouraged, uh, commenters are encouraged to do that. And the comments must be civil. No comments are allowed about the writing style, grammar, syntax, things like that, unless they are positive and specific. We'll learn more about that as we, as we blog. 
And then forums, they explore topics. Forum entries are assessed by the value um, of the writer's contribution to the overall discussion. And then we have our unit papers. There are five of them. We have five units this semester, and um, each paper is the culmination of the unit's reading, um, of its less formal writing, and other thinking. Writing being one form of thinking. And um, these papers are very polished and go through at least two drafts. So remember, uh, for a lot more information about the course, please read this semester uh, course's syllabus. And I'm looking forward very much to writing and learning a lot from you. And I'm looking forward to reading your writing too. Thank you.